Federal Airways, or Victor Airways as they're known, provide routes between VORs or NDBs to aid in IFR traffic routes. There are two types of Federal Airways, either Colored Airways or VOR Airways. The VORs are predominantly the most common. The VOR Airway system uses low altitude or high altitude routes. Low altitude airways are described in FAR 71 and utilize both high and low altitude VORs. They are assigned with a distinct number identifying prefix with the letter V, for example, V105. Low altitude airways extend from 1200 feet AGL up to, but not including, 18,000 feet MSL and extend four nautical miles laterally on those airways. Jet routes are up in Class A airspace at 18,000 feet MSL and up to and including flight level 450 and are identified with a unique number in the prefix J, for example, J15. On the charts themselves, there's actually kind of uh, some, some cool ways to check this out. So if you zoom in, let's say on a VFR chart, and we'll just go out here and what is this? Um, around Columbus, Ohio, there's this, uh, what is this? Appleton uh, VOR. And off of the Appleton VOR, you can see these faint blue lines here, like the 300, 300 radio. See how that is right there? 300 radio, and then the 235 radio. But you notice on the VFR charts, they're pretty big busy. There's a lot going on. One of the cool things on sky vectors, you can just click over to the world low chart. And this is actually an IFR chart that will show the Appleton VOR and then the 300 radio and then the 235 and so on and so forth. Now off of these VORs or connecting these VORs is a network of freeways in the sky. They're called Victor Airways because they are designated with V's for VORs and they're all across the country. If you zoom out, it is literally a spider web or a network of VORs that are connecting one another. These uh, Victor Airways, when you're looking at uh, a VFR chart, are literally denoted with this light blue line. It's kind of hard to see, but like T3331 and the Victor 465, it's a little bit easier to see as a black line on, on the world low, but on the world VFR, whether it's the um, sectional or the terminal chart, it doesn't matter. Uh, world VFR shows the light blue line with their characters identifying not only the Victor and then 465. So it's literally as part of your flight plan, you would just name the Victor route you know, where you get on the freeway and then where you get off the freeway. It's, just, it's really interesting stuff. But yeah, those are Victor Airways. The other kind of interesting thing is on either side of the course, um, you're actually going to have kind of a protected airspace uh, for IFR traffic. And it's not really denoted on here, um, but you can see it. Um, you can get a sense of that when you're flying IFR.